because I'm a first aider at work and I'd done my qualification through St John. They emailed me just before Christmas and asked if I would like to consider becoming a volunteer vaccinator as well as doing all the NHS qualifications. It was about doing a refresher for your first aid, unbeknownst to me that only a matter of weeks later would I then actually need it for real. It was a Saturday morning. I thought I'd go into the town centre to do a bit of shopping. I was in a taxi and I was just, uh, I think Steve's van um, was behind me. Um, and as it came up alongside me, I could hear that the noise of the engine wasn't quite right. That it was like he was on the accelerator, but in a lower gear. Um, and then you just see the van suddenly rear off the road and crash into the actual wall of the town centre. Straight away, I realised that this person must have had some kind of medical emergency. Told the taxi driver to stop and let me get out of the car. went running across. I couldn't get to his driver's side because that was actually up against the wall. So I got in by the passenger side. The passenger side airbag was aflame, um, which was a bit worrying. Um, I had passers-by shouting at me to, to get away from the van because it could um, end up exploding. Climbed into the cab of the van, which was quite high up tried to calm him down and asked him first of all not to try and move or do anything, unclipped his seatbelt. At this point my main concern was the fact this gentleman wasn't breathing normally, didn't appear to, uh, to know what was going on around him or what had just happened, managed to put my arms underneath his arms and just pulled him out towards the, the passenger side, called to a few um, stand bystanders and said can you come and help me down with this, this man. So they helped me onto the floor. At this point, he'd completely lost consciousness, had stopped breathing. So I knew I needed to start CPR. So I told them to lay him on the floor and immediately started chest compressions. A security guard from the Telford Shopping Centre came out and I remembered that they have um, a defibrillator on site. So I asked him to get the defibrillator. So he called up on the radio, brought the defibrillator down. There was a shockable rhythm, so we were able to shock him the first time, but nothing really happened. Um, and you could see that he was deteriorating rapidly, the colour had changed. At one point he's, he didn't look like he was with us anymore. Um, and then we carried on with the compressions, and the second time that we shocked him, we managed to, to bring him back. Yeah, I feel quite proud in a, in a way that, that I was able to, to be there to, I've already had those skills and put them to good use. Hi Stephen. How are you doing? Hi, you right? Yeah, you probably don't remember the first time I met you. No. But it, it's nice to see you again and looking so well as well. I'm not last time. Now, right, I've been the last time. Yeah. How are you? you okay? Yeah, I'm keeping well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks very much. You're welcome. You saved my life. You got the love, you got the love, you got the love.